All right, YouTube headed down the road. Um, as I show you in this video, uh, the ad I just saw, um, I've been sitting around all day and looking on Facebook Marketplace, looking on Craigslist, looking for something cheap to buy. Um, I actually hadn't seen much and then I decided to go with my kids for a bike ride. We rode up to the school and, and played around some, uh, maybe for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, we came back and this go-kart, um, the 620 go-kart uh, was listed. Uh, about seven minutes away from my house. I've been like searching um, and up to an hour away uh, trying to find something to go get some kind of a project today and This popped up while I was gone. Um, I sent the guy a message. It was an email response through Craigslist so no phone numbers So I, it took forever for him to respond or to me it felt like forever uh, So I thought maybe it was already gone but for hundred bucks um, go-kart supposedly runs uh, just needs I think a, a, a chain I might be wrong. I think maybe it said a clutch, but it might just be a chain um, so we're gonna go see. Uh, he responded, said if I came now, I could, uh, you know, I could come. Um, so I'm headed there. Uh, we'll see what it is when I when I get there. Um, while I was looking earlier, um, while I was waiting for this guy to respond, I actually saw a, an XR Honda XR 100, um, which is like 45 minutes away from me. Guy said make an offer. I offered him 200 bucks. Uh, he said the best he could do was five. So I was in the middle of talking to him about that when this go kart seller responded. So hang hang tight and let's see exactly what this thing is um hopefully i get it i should get it uh i should be there in a couple minutes so hang tight and let's see all right so take two uh if you i don't know if you can notice or not back there but i do have the uh oh i got my spare tire in the back i forgot about that spare tires in the back but i got my trailer hooked up um i had to go home because the go-kart would not fit in the back of my truck um I drive a Chevy Avalanche, which has got a very small back uh, bed area. It was not wide enough, so the, the go-kart front wheels would not fit. Um, so it was $100. This thing took it took maybe one or two pulls. It started up. Uh, the kill switch doesn't work, so we had to wait for it to kind of cut off. I ended up pulling the uh, spark plug wire out because um, choking and stuff wouldn't make it turn off. Um, but kill switch needs to be fixed and needs a chain. Other than that, this thing's pretty awesome. For $100, uh, it's a little bit bigger than I thought. I hadn't seen one. I wasn't exactly sure what this go-kart was, the size of it. Um, but it seems to be actually a little bit more uh, beefier uh, shocks than the Yurf Dog that I picked up a couple weeks ago. Um, so hang tight. I'll get the thing loaded and I'll get some footage of it uh, either when I come home or maybe I'll stop somewhere and do it. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah, spare, <laughs> spare tire for my truck and trailer. But uh, give me a couple minutes and I'll, I'll get it loaded up and we'll get another video. All right, there it is. Uh, just unloaded from the trailer. This is the Tomberlin Firefox 620. Uh, 100 bucks. Um, you can't beat that 100 bucks. I don't know a whole lot about these go-karts. I've never had one of these. Uh, if you watched my channel a couple weeks ago, I picked up that Yurf dog right there. And we already had, I think it's like a black cat in there with a Tecumseh on it. Uh, so I had those, but I've been watching uh, Craigslist and Facebook a bunch here lately, and this popped up for 100 bucks. So 100 bucks, 10 minutes away, um, can't beat it. So I'm gonna walk around real quick just to show you what I think and what I've seen so far. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, any thoughts on this go kart, let me know. Um, I don't know much about it. I did do a quick search when I got home. And I was just sitting in the car for a minute or two. Um, it does not seem to be top of the line, but to me, it actually seems to be pretty sturdy um, so the first thing I noticed when I got there was this front end um, this front end the shocks are pretty heavy-duty um, here we have I guess it's a single a arm um, shocks seem to be pretty pretty heavy-duty that steering linkage for it I mean look at that that is just it's crazy nothing like the other go-karts um, the tie rods seem to be thicker than the Europe dog as well. Um, got this massive traption here in the middle where it all kind of comes together. So I was really impressed with that. Um, the weight of this is a lot more than the, the Europe dog. And actually this tubing, <laughs> to me, it seems to be thicker. It might not be, uh, but it, it seems when I was trying to load it up into the truck. Um, I tried to load it in the truck first. It was too wide, so I ended up having to come back and get my trailer right there so 
this go-kart has, um, like I said, good shocks in the front. Good seems like good suspension. Double seats. Got seat belts already. Um, got the same kind of shocks in the back. Back here, same thing. Seem to be pretty, pretty strong and stiff. Um, this go-kart has the Mitsubishi 6.0. Right there, GT600. This thing does run. Uh, one issue he had was no kill switch. So the kill switch wasn't working, and I looked down in there, and I'll show you in a second that it does work now. Um, just for now, I've got it kind of rigged up with this little wire here, but the ground wire wasn't connected. There's a ground wire that's supposed to go right there, it's supposed to go into that, that Phillips head screw right there. Is where the ground wire is supposed to plug into um, and the other wire goes to the motor it's supposed to ground it out um, it just wasn't connected so I need to put another little ring connector right there but he told me that the kill switch didn't work and the chain was missing there is no chain so I don't know exactly I haven't looked underneath this cover so I haven't had a chance yet but I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like under there so I don't know if anything else is missing or if everything's there it just really does need a chain. I have a chain that came with the clutch that I purchased for the Black Cat that's in there. So we'll see if that chain works. Um, one thing he did not say, and I did not really notice when I was there, because you know, 100 bucks, 100 bucks for it runs. This seems to be pretty heavy duty. I, was, I couldn't hand him the money fast enough. So one thing I did not really notice is the brake. Right there, there's a brake caliper. It's not attached, as you can tell. It's supposed to go right down there and there's two holes um, there's no bolts for it which is not a big deal I can find some bolts I guess um, but it does look like it's missing one of the brake pads there's a brake pad here and it appears to be missing the other brake pad and I don't know exactly sorry about that um, I don't know exactly let's see it's got one brake pad in it but I don't know where's the one that on this side of it so I need to figure out what kind of brake pad it is. I don't know if it's the same as this one or if it's a different shape. Um, I don't know if parts for this are going to be easy to find or difficult. Um, if you know anything about finding parts, I do see it says somewhere right here. Customer support. There's a little website, phone number. I don't know if that helps or what. Um, if I can find stuff there or Amazon or eBay or some other website. But I need to figure out the brake because there are no brakes as of right now. Um, tires seem to be holding air. Uh, the front ones are a little bald, so you might be looking for new tires. I don't know if the Yurf Dog tires, and that one's actually going flat. If the Yurf Dog tires would fit on here, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one for my kids, if I'm going to keep this one for my kids, or if I'm going to keep all of them for my kids, or if I'm going to sell one after I get it straight or what. Let's see. That's pretty much it. What I will do, I'll go ahead and start it up just so you can see that it does run. Um, but for 100 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. And like I said, it was so close to the house. Um, it's a choke. It okay, starts up nice and easy. Don't run now. No, not too loud, pretty quiet. Um, it doesn't seem to rev up very high. I mean, it does rev up, but it's not going to go anywhere. It's got no chain, but. Doesn't really sound very loud, but I don't know if that's. We'll have to see once I get a chain on there exactly what it does. So a couple questions is, is that motor garbage? I don't know anything about a Mitsubishi. Maybe you do. If you do, let me know what you think about the Mitsubishi motor. Um, is it if it is it worth keeping that on there? Is it would it be better to put a Predator motor on it or something like that on it? Um, I gotta figure out the brakes. If you know where I can get some parts for, if you know anything about these go karts, let me know. But I'm excited. Um, like I said, I've been checking out Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for a while, trying to find some uh, more projects. Uh, so in here, I, I got the Europe Dog still. I'm waiting for the parts to come tomorrow. So that's another thing. So if I'm getting a new pipe, new carburetor, a bunch of stuff for this go kart, would it be worth taking this motor once it's built and put it on there? Um, that. Tom Tomberlin go-kart seems to be more heavy duty than this one and it might just be me I don't know uh, I don't know this one seems to be a little bit sleeker with the 
the railings over top the roll cage doesn't seem to be as big and bulky um, where where that one's more of a square more of a square but kind of a this one looks better I think but the front end is nowhere near as as beefy as the other one um, but that could just be my imagination but that's my my original thoughts on that so a lot of projects always happy to add another project though for 100 bucks you can't beat it uh, so I gotta figure out what's going on with that I'm still working on the earth dog got the KX 100 over there I just picked up last week all in pieces um, luckily everything else in here pretty much seems to be going so let me know what you think about that go car any ideas suggestions uh, and I'll catch you next time uh, be sure to subscribe, rate the video, and I'll see you.